Hey guys, Zane Hind here from the Nexus Schoolhouse, finally bringing you a W Falstead video. I've gotten a lot of requests about this hero. W Falstead is definitely in a fantastic spot right now. Abuse him while you can because the nerf bat will be coming for this hero. Uh, very simple in terms of build. You pick all of the pictures that have a lightningy symbol, except at 10 where you go Mighty Gust, and except at 16 where you opt for Afterburner. At 20, we're going to take the upgrade to Wind Tunnel, and then we're just going to have W Talons at the 1, 4, 7, and 13. What this is going to do is give us a massive W that ticks six times, gives us a 5%, 4% uh, shield each time it procs, has a massive range that's the size of half a lane, and deals more and more damage with each subsequent strike, and also resets on takedowns, and that's a huge one. The being able to reset on takedowns is a huge and very, very valuable trait, especially for a hero like Falstad, whose biggest issue tends to be being able to close out fights and finish off targets at the very end of a fight that tends to go quite long. Right here at the beginning of the game, we're just looking to queue onto that minion wave, get that boomerang, get that AoE damage, and start picking up our waves. We're going to put our W on uh, the enemy Murden right there and just try to farm a couple stacks. We do have one stack going. Generally, you're not going to complete this quest. You'll get to 60% typically by the end of the game, but it is nice if you can get that damage out quicker because it does make a pretty big difference at the end of the day. I'm going to pop my W again onto the bird, and we're just going to look to cut the enemy rotation on the right-hand side. I'm going to E over, and we're going to find the zero tool. We're going to chunk him out, and then I'm going to throw the Q onto the Malfurion. I immediately regretted throwing that Q. Uh, I wish I had used it on the minion wave instead. I think that would have been a little bit more efficient than what I ended up doing. We're going to find some W damage onto the enemy Sonya, find another tick, two ticks of our quest, fantastic. And we're just looking to avoid the Zero tool and control this mid bot rotation right here. Uh, I do have another W right now, but I believe I'm going to save it and opt to use that on the Siege Camp, which Lunara is currently clearing out. Uh, Luna, aka Destructible as you may know them. Uh, is already on this camp well ahead of time and has already cleared out that bottom wave so we've got a very proactive rotation going on on the bottom side of the map right here. I throw another Q, I clear out this mid wave and we're good to go. Uh, we are going to look to rotate top at some point during this game if I feel the need to help shot on the Yorick out with his 1v1 into the enemy Sonya but for now I just want to control the bottom side. I'm going to take my tap here just for mana not for HP. Uh, I do tend to run Oom on this hero very easily, especially if you're wasting his uh, E quite a bit. Uh, you can find yourself running out of mana very, very quickly. Uh, we do find the enemy Hanzo as well as the enemy Zeratul right here. We are going to go on the Hanzo, deal some good damage, trade with him quite effectively with our static shield, and then we're going to Q onto the wave. Right here, we do see the Malfurion is thrown in. I'm going to look for one, two, three autos, a W, and at this point in time, this hero is guaranteed to be, to be dead. I'm going to E forward, and I'm going to find another finish onto that enemy Hanzo, just barely able to survive the enemy tower damage, able to sidestep the Zeratul to W, which I knew would be coming in some way, shape, or form, uh, and we're able to live, get our double kill, rotate on out, and begin to hearth. This was a fantastic game for me. Uh, typically, when I have uh, W false side games, I do end up killing a lot, but I also end up dying a lot. And this was kind of the first time in a while I really felt like uh, I was playing confidently, playing optimally, but also not dying. So I felt like this would be the good time to make a video on this here so you can see how it should be played uh, if you are playing correctly. Uh, I'm not a ranged DPS player by any means, and I do struggle with ranged DPS from time to time, but I found myself playing quite well this game, and I was pretty happy with my performance overall. Uh, I, was I was looking to fly into bottom there, but then I saw three heroes instead of two and that's immediately too many for me to take on so i canceled my fly and elect to stay mid for the moment and again dragon Char is just run off the mid wave uh, if you can control that mid wave get ahead on it you're going to force the enemy team to rotate behind you constantly and if they're behind you constantly they can't find picks they can't uh, easily find kills they can't easily find their mercenary camps yada 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 Right there, our Garrosh is fishing uh, a little bit deep, looking to see if he can flip an enemy hero over. He's not quite able to find it. The Murden is bodyguarding his team quite well. And right here, we're just going to rotate back onto the mid, throw a Q, clear our wave out, help our Leoric out right here, right? Get that quick wave clear. I do see that the uh, Zeratul has teleported into the top left bush, but I'm not going to chase. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to kill that hero, even if I did find him. Right here, I see the enemy team has capped both the points, and I'm going to opt to rotate back into mid and just bodyguard this point until we're able to pick up a point. I see Luna in a bit of danger right here, and I'm just going to roll forward and chase this Hanzo down, and it's the exact same situation as just a moment ago. I find the double kill onto the Hanzo with the Malfurion. We do see the Sonya is still top, so there's no way for them to actually cap, and Rev actually messes up his teleport right there. Uh, Blink's pretty much in place instead of going over the wall. Zeratul's E can be very, very finicky from time to time, and we're able to find the triple kill onto the enemy team. At this point in time, we are a full level up. We're firmly in the driver's seat. 
Uh, we're doing a good job so far. I'm able to find some siege onto the mid walls right here. I'm able to simply knock this over, get a big, big shield up so that Sonya isn't really able to do much reasonable damage to me. And I am trading very aggressively with the Sonya because I know my team is rotating in any moment now. Uh, and if I just stay on the Sonya, we will be able to find the pick right there. Uh, I do believe she dies to the Garrosh. Good job on our Garrosh for getting that pick. And I uh, opt to go all the way to our keep wall to defend myself here. I was very scared of the Zeratul just finishing me off, but I shouldn't be because it's not 10 yet, and he doesn't really have the ability to double blink finish and then wormhole back out. Um, I was kind of playing very, very defensive the way I would if that Zeratul had might and had all his cooldowns available, but I knew he was occupied, so it was a little bit unnecessary for me to back so aggressively. Uh, right here, we're just going to Z on into the right bush, and I do believe I get spotted very briefly by the minion wave going over, and that's what gives this Hanzo the information he needs to know that I'm in this bush waiting for him. Uh, the moment he knows I'm in this bush, he scouts me out with the Sonic Arrow. I like to simply back off. Uh, if that hero 1v1s me... He is going to out-damage me at the end of the day. I do sidestep the Sonya quite efficiently right here, and then I chase with a W. Looking to pick up my static shield. Uh, right here, I know the Rhaegar is coming in. So I opt to trade a little aggressively with the enemy Hanzo. Probably a mistake. I didn't really need to take that damage. Uh, and if I was at full HP right now, I'd be in a better situation for sure. Uh, I do find a nice WQ onto the enemy uh, Hanzo right there. Managed to finish him off. And right here, I'm just trying to auto as quick as I can to try to finish off the Sonya. Not quite able to get that last auto attack. I didn't quite know the timing with the Bloodlust for this specific hero. I do believe false add auto attack speed is 1.4. Let's just double check that. Yep, 1.43. So with Bloodlust... Uh, that goes up to... Oh no, you're going to see me do quick mass. 1.4, up by 40%, around 2 auto attacks per minute. Uh, and I wasn't quite 100% sure on the timing on that, so it was a little bit difficult. I'm going to fast forward through this bit right here. Uh, all we really do is punch building for quite a bit of time. We managed to get this fort completely free, managed to get another minion wave. Good stuff by us. And then we're just going to rotate on to mid. At this point in time, we are 12 to the enemy 10. We are quite a bit ahead, uh, and we're in a very good position on the map. I do see the enemy team is invading our siege camp, and I am debating looking for a gust right here. I find a W onto the enemy Hanzo. I'm going to look for his jump, and I'm going to chase the jump to ensure my W continues to connect. I'm going to gust the enemy Malfurion off so he can't find a heal. And right there, I saw that the Zeratul used his blink. He's using a second blink to get out. Uh, and right here, we're just looking to finish off any targets we can get our hands on. I find a Q onto the enemy Malfurion, but I am staying back because I do not want to get finished off by that enemy Zeratul. I'm just looking to clear out the wave instead, and we do see Luna there finds that initial jump onto Crazy Bez, able to finish off that Malfurion. He's just sitting at a tiny little tick of HP. He's healed up to half with that Tranquility. I'm going to chase him, ring around the Rosie style around this fort. Uh, we are going to be able to find the finish with that last tick of W. Very good. And we're just barely able to get out with our lives, having traded up two kills to none on our side. Very good by us. Uh, and then the Rhaegar and myself are just going to look to Hearth here and back on out, refill our resources, get ourselves healthy, and get ready to go. So W falls out, as you can see, it's very, very efficient at picking up and cleaning up fights. Uh, it does really, really good damage to any target you can stay on top of, and what you end up wanting to do is keep your uh, W on a target by using your E to ensure that you stay inside of the range of your W, basically. You want to keep that channel for as long as possible so you can do more and more damage with that level 13 talent, so you can subsequently increase the amount of overall damage you're going to do with those immediate bursts. It hits very, very hard. Uh, and the fact that you can reset off takedowns is fantastic. Right here, I'm just looking for a gust play to see if I have a good gust into the bottom wall. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't really see one, so I'm just going to opt to waste it on the Muradin, uh, who I know is going to die to my W. I do find a second W. I can't actually see the Hanzo right here because of my uh, poor camera position, uh, but I do know that if I mash my buttons in that general direction, I will probably find the kill, and I do manage to find the kill, fortunately. Uh, button mashing for the win. We're just going to fast forward on through here towards the end of the game, and at this point in time, we're very firmly in the driver's seat. Uh, we're thoroughly in control of this game. We've pretty much won. The only thing we have to do to win the game is not throw, not feed the enemy kills, uh, basically not make mistakes. And when you're in that position where the only way to lose is by your own mistakes, you're generally in a very winning position and you're in a good place to kind of learn from what you did that game in order to get into that position. Now, what we did on Falstead was we managed to find a couple of double kills with our W resets. We managed to find good damage onto the enemy team. Managed to stack our quest pretty reasonably in the early game and then just kind of stop stacking it altogether. Right there, we're able to find good damage onto the Zero Tool. Uh, and that's basically the name of this game, is put your W on the enemy hero and then E forward when they use their blink or their dash or their teleport or what have you and keep them in range of your W so you can keep on 
fucking those ticks of damage. Right there, I do pop the Gust onto the Sonya, and I push her into our mid wall uh, to isolate her from the enemy team. Then I pop the W on her to finish her off. The W resets, of course. I put the W right there on Reb, who just teleported back in. I believe incorrectly that might have been a fat finger. Uh, I find a second W finishing off the Malfurion. I find a third W onto the enemy Hanzo, and then I'm going to find a fourth W onto the enemy Murden. We're going to finish off all four of those enemy heroes, and this really showcases the raw power of false set W builds. You will run Oom very, very fast. You can see that my mana bar is pretty much empty now. Um, but we're able to find that nice quad kill right there, able to find a triple cleanup onto the mouth, then the Hanzo, then the Muradin, and then we're able to put our W onto the core, and finally, GG, that's going to be the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Over Explained. I hope you get to try out the W Falstead before he gets nerfed into the ground. Uh, I'm presuming nerfs are coming very, very shortly, so play him while you can. Uh, but otherwise, GG's guys, that's it from me. Take care, and we'll see you in the Nexus.